The question of whether or not a Republican on the November ballot lives in the district he wishes to represent is one several people have asked News Channel 18 about. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy has more now on Republican Don Brown and the apartment that he rents. Aaron? Good evening, Jeff and Gina. It's required that a candidate live in the district he or she wants to represent. Don Brown says he's done nothing illegal. Questions about the residency of Republican Don Brown have been raised just days before the election. Brown is running for state representative in District 27 against Sheila Klinker. Brown's voter registration shows on October 29, 2009, he changed his address from 1235 Meadowbrook Drive in Lafayette to 513 Fourth Street Apartment C, also in Lafayette. One neighbor says Brown comes by the apartment but doesn't live there. But Don doesn't actually live there, no. to your knowledge. Right. He don't live there at all. This map shows Brown's previous residence at 1235 Meadowbrook Drive, which is just outside District 27. That address is in District 41. Board of Elections co-director and Democratic Party chairperson Heather Maddox says state law states a candidate must live in the district he or she wishes to represent. They have to live in the district, and obviously for any office you're running for, you're living in, you want to live in the district because you're representing the people that live in that district. Brown says his apartment on 4th Street is within the law. I have fulfilled all legal requirements as a registered voter in District 27. I am legal, um, and regardless of the outcome of the election, I will maintain my voter registration in District 27 to participate in the political process. Indiana's Office of Code Revision has more than a dozen codes in regard to standards for determining residency. If you read through Indiana Code, it kind of, there are some certain specifics on what a residence is, but then it might change it if someone has the intent. It's always about someone's intent to live somewhere. Lafayette is my home and has been for many, many, many years. And so I'm very interested in the political process, and I was very frustrated that I couldn't vote in the 2007 Lafayette municipal elections when, they were, when we were voting for the city council and the mayor. So again, I will, regardless of the outcome of this election, I will maintain my voter registration in District 27 so that I can participate at the municipal level as well as the state level. Now, a candidate could file a challenge after the election within 14 days against the person he or she was running against. A call was placed to Brown's opponent, Sheila Klinker's cell phone, regarding this issue, but we have not heard anything back from her. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.